Hello. I am in the French Alps. And I've just got to my room and I thought I would show it to you before I mess it up, even though I kind of already did. <laughs> um, so I'm at Lalpaga. Um, I'm spending one night here, then we're going up to Val Torrens. Got my, got my boots on. How cute is this hotel room? I like was really surprised when I first came in. How cute is this little room? I almost want to sleep here. <laughs> although it's a single bed, it's like quite cozy, isn't it? Um, although this is rather inviting, I will say. Um, and I've been given CBD like pen, which I'm really curious about because I do like the CBD. It's like a vape. Rain. Not sure how many I meant to smoke though. I've already had a few. <laughs> I don't want to overdo it. Um, although very lovely. We just have an afternoon in the spa today. <coughs> so you know, if I wanted to get really relaxed, I could. Um, but yeah, this is I'm on a trip for three nights, four days in France um, with Boumier Hotels, who have a few hotels here. Um, La, pa La Paga, it's easy to say in French, is where I am now. I don't know what's in here, because it's, it's directed at me. Um, so I'm in Megev at the moment. Oh, that's nice. Don't you love it in France? People can spell my name and say my name correctly. Um, but yeah, I'll show you a bit more of the hotel. I'm going to be skiing. Hopefully, um, luckily we're not here the whole time actually because there's not much snow because it's a little bit warm. Um, but um, we're going higher up to Val tomorrow. So getting all the ski outfits out is gonna be very, very fun. Um, and I hope you enjoy the vlog. Who knows what's to come? <laughs> so I'm just gonna try and unpack a little bit. As you know, <laughs> my vlog people are this. I like unpacking, but we're in here one night, but I have all this like ginormous ski stuff. So I just need to like get to the rest of my things and get a few bits out um, for today. So kind of take out what I need. Um, I've just bought my kind of medium away case, which is pretty good. Um, and I thought I did a quite a, quite a good job of packing, you know? Um, I always take a tote bag in case I'm overweight. Not I'm overweight. <laughs> My luggage is overweight. Um, then got some ski bits, but I see this like everything ski is so like big, but luckily it's quite like puffy. So you can like kind of squirt. I had to like sit on my case. There's like all these gloves and like ski suits, which are just kind of big. And then, oh my God, look at these boots. <gasps> Dead. They're like giving me Ugg, but better. But Uggs are back these days, aren't they? So well done whoever their marketing team is to make Uggs come back. But yeah, these are really cozy. But in Megev, it's actually quite warm. Um, so I don't think we're going to be doing, well, I know we're not going to be doing any skiing here. My little ski socks. It's quite fun. It's spa time. Um, I got this, I have to show you this bikini because it's the amazing fish swim one. And the colour is so nice. Olive had it in um, St. Martin. It doesn't, it's almost not as bright on this camera as well. But it's glorious. I've got some really cool like vintage ski bits here. Maybe I've got like an old chairlift. It's really. Oh. <laughs> it's very nice light. Oh, I love that. Ooh, this is so good. So, in terms of skincare bits, I'm just cleansing my face before dinner um, with the pie. Oh, look, you've got two angles of me. Thank you. You get to see all my chins from all on the angles. Uh, using the pie, I think it's the like rose it kind of or something, just to kind of. So I've been up since five five a.m. and the clock's only just changed, so it's kind of 
really felt like 4 a.m. Um, oh, that always feels so nice. Um, oh, cleaning, cleaning one's face. Um, then going in with the, got loads of minis that I kind of um, save up for trips. This is the Elemis Pro Collagen Mar Energizing Marine Cleanser. I love the um, Elemis cleansers, they're always pretty good. Mm. Seriously, like after a long flight, not a long flight, <laughs> one hour 30, I mean after like a long travel day, because we were had to get early to the airport and then our flight was delayed an hour or so. Then I got there, then my cases took a bit of time. Then I had to get a taxi here. So like obviously all lovely things, but you know, when you just feel a bit a bit air faulty and gross, so definitely need to cleanse. Oh, it feels better already. Seriously. Then I like to do, especially because after a flight, my skin is likely dehydrated. So I travel with like a mist. This is the little um, Dermalogica one. This is the antioxidant mist. Um, thank God for minis, because otherwise my bag would just be like pretty much solely um, skincare. <laughs> Um, and then I'm just going to, because I'm just going for dinner now, so I'm not like doing a full skincare thing. I'm probably just going to put a bit of, ooh, a cream. I might actually just use Avensic off that. It is a pretty thick cream, but I want to like really lock in hydration. And it's really nice under makeup, a good big cream as well, this one. Because it's an emollient, so it's nice and smoothy also. So, um, just went up and had a shower. Just trying to get my hair to dry kind of half nicely before we leave quite soon. It's like eight something now. We're leaving at 9.30, so we're gonna try have breakfast before we go because we are going higher up into the mountains into Val Torren, um, Torren, I think actually, uh, Val Torrens, um, for the next two nights um, where we're staying in a couple hotels up there. We're actually, each of us are just staying in one hotel up there, but because there's a group of us, we've like split. They split who's staying where so that we can experience all um, the two hotels, the Bumi hotels up there, which is the Fitzroy and Le Val d'Oran. Um, and that's where we're going to be skiing because here it's a little warmer. So up there it's a little colder because it's higher up. Um, so we're going to go rent some skis as soon as we get there. And um, I think most of the English are going to have... Um, like the girls from England are going to have a little instructor to remind us or teach us how to ski. I used to ski when I was little, loads, because we used to just, um, we used to just drive into France, well, to the Alps, because I lived in France, into the French Alps or the Swiss Alps. Um, but I've only been once as an adult. I feel like it'll be like muscle memory mainly. And got a strongish call from Pilates but I definitely want an instructor just to like remind me you know what not to do what to do um and I will probably fall anyway but you know you have to accept that and we've all got some great ski outfits which we're very excited so we're very much all the gear and no idea but you know p part of the fun so I will show you more when we get there so heading off for breakfast got these three people boots on Ernest the OT leggings which I love they're super comfy this Philippa K jumper which I wore the whole time on the plane as well very very comfortable so it's nice and sunny yeah you're right all right we're gonna get our ski skis yeah. actual skis Ding. Ding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like wow yeah. the precision. Oh, no. 
Definition of all the gear and no idea. <rire> Il y avait genre deux jours de quarantaine et on vient que pour quatre jours alors ça veut ça voulait pas la peine. Okay. It is a bit, isn't it? Hello, I am in the new hotel room, which has an amazing view of the slopes in Le Val Torrent. I've literally just got here, I've unpacked, as I always do, <laughs> as you probably know by now. Such a lovely bed. Got a few bits out I want to shoot. I kind of, it just helps me get my bearings to like get, even if it's like not the tidiest, just like get everything out of my suitcase. I feel like I've arrived more, I've kind of got jeans and bits and comfy bits. Um, ski stuff, ski suits, miscellaneous un slash underwear. There's a great snack selection here and they've got this like kind of wall um, wardrobe, which is quite good to see what I need to um, be wearing. Little bathroom, hello. A really nice big shower, which I think I might hop in. But I actually need to kind of get a bit on, on emails a bit for a moment. Um, I was like checking my phone whilst I was whilst I was skiing and I was like, okay, I need to ooh, just hand just bump into something. Um I need to not be like thinking of this right now. Uh but it was good. I only fell once. I haven't been for like eight years skiing. Um and I fell once, but that was fine, not badly. My skis actually came off, which is actually easier to fall because then your skis aren't like over each other, which is normally the hard bit. And um yeah, it was so nice. It's like five slopes. I forgot how nice it is when you like get into it and you're like, God, I'm so good at this. Um, but you know, and then we like filmed ourselves and we were like, oh, we're actually going really slow, <laughs> but it feels really fast. Um, but yeah, so it was really fun. Um, so we've got like an hour or so now and then we've got drinks here um, and fondue night, which I'm so excited about, even though I'm, just, I'm gonna break out, but fondue is worth breaking out for. Um, so yes. Gonna do a little bit of work, probably sat here, I've made myself a tea. Got a little kind of like cereal chocolate raisin snack from the mini bar and that is it for now. So, this might sound crazy <laughs> to anyone that doesn't do my job or isn't a photographer or creative or I don't know. Anyway, don't need to, um, what's the word? Yeah. Disclaimer, that's gonna get a disclaimer. I'm gonna write down all the shots I wanna take because they're all like milling around my head and we've got quite a like busy itinerary and I feel like quite stressed because like we've like, first of all, problem, I know. Um, but we've gotta go for dinner and like we haven't had that much time to like just chill and I've just come back and had work, like emails that I've had to do to catch up on. Immediately going for dinner and I wanna have like a fun night and then we're going skiing, we're going skiing at nine in the morning and basically I just wanna write down like a list of all the photos that I want to take or like videos or whatever, basically like content I suppose that I wanna capture. It just helps me feel really calm like having it written down because then I can like, um, I know it's there and I've like noted it. So in my head otherwise I get like really like kind of stressed in terms of um what i still need to do or not and so i can't i'm trying to like think of one thing to do but then I'm like, oh, i have to do that other thing you know classic very busy mind um i just thought of something else so i'm just gonna note down before i forget um and they've got these really cute little notepads here as well la plante de baton very sweet um so it's still really light which is really really lovely um like it's like 6 30 i think and it's still really light out which is nice but I need to shoot like a job and there's a few other bits I want to shoot because we're in these beautiful hotels and beautiful scenery and it's like I want to make the most of being here while I am here but then also like really enjoy skiing tomorrow and not just be thinking about photos because that's that would be a shame um so I'm trying to like plan all of that um and then I also I'm like half getting ready for dinner because I need to go to that soon so yeah it's 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 keeping busy but this view try not flashy is rather lovely with the sun kind of setting over the mountains you can hear the bars a bit <laughs> 
So getting ready for dinner, wearing this Philippa K knit and some jeans. And Hannah is just bringing me my boots because I accidentally left them in the other hotel. So I've got so many layers under my <laughs> ski suit. I've got leggings, not so many, but then my heat tech, my Uniqlo heat tech. I've got a jumper, which goes under the ski suit. Um, then I've got big socks. Um, and then I put the jacket over that. And then I've got my helmet. <laughs> and then the um, hotel, but I think maybe it's a tourism board, actually gave us these today, which you like put like here to like cover when it gets really cold, which is actually great because it's snowing today and freezing. Um, so I'm gonna try and stay as warm as possible. Film camera and I was just like, do you know what? It's just too annoying. I'll just take a phone for today. I had it yesterday. It's a bit foggy. Day two skiing. Woo! Rachel's a beginner, but she's doing very well. She was catching up to me a little too fast. Um, it's really snowy, as you can see. It's kind of like very foggy, but it's quite idyllic. It looks very fake. I don't know if you can see the fog so much. You can probably see it more not so clear as yesterday with the blue skies but um where are we going i don't know high up. <laughs> high up <laughs> so we've come up to st garo <laughs> I had to just walk up this bit. I'm not going to ski down because it's mainly black from here, but we're going to try and see ooh, if we can see a nice view from the right at the top. Oh, you can open your shoes if you want. <laughs> yeah. We've found an easy way to go down the mountain. <laughs> I feel like I'm collecting quite a lot. <laughs> it's quite steep. Well, two seconds I miss us. The cryotherapy. <laughs> I think this is going to give us really good cheekbones because it's so cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. I'll, yeah, I'll update you. <laughs> Keep you posted. I've got quite a lot of cheek to get through, but you know. <laughs> you two have got good cheekbones already, so. Could I borrow anyone's uh, makeup? <laughs> <laughs> right now, I literally used SPF to get it off yesterday. I'm like, oh, I'm red. I'm not doing it. When I say I cannot move and I'm so tired, I literally was going to pick up my floor camera as soon as I came in my room. And then was like, no, <laughs> I must lay down first. Um, we've just got back from day two of skiing and we, meaning everyone out, well, a few other people, but I'm obviously in my room alone. Um, really takes it out of you. We did four hours today, which I guess is actually quite a lot because it is technically like sport. I mean, it is sport um, because it's so like, you know, you're getting on a lift, you're sitting down, you're skiing. I feel like I got a lot more confident today. I feel like definitely because Rachel only started skiing yesterday and she's pretty good and I feel like because we both do tempo pilates which is reformer pilates we have pretty good strong these guys and these guys <laughs> to keep us steady uh one more steady and kind of obviously quite balanced from pilates as well but like they're quite strong because you need to have like good control um so grateful that, that that has come in use somewhere else other than just doing Pilates. And um, now we're coming back and we're gonna go to the sauna. I've got the most banging headache. I only had like three glasses of wine last night, but today I just had a headache all day. Um, well, actually I took some Nurofen earlier, but I'm gonna try and get kind of sweat it out, have a swim. I'm just, I could, I could literally fall asleep right now and wake up tomorrow morning easily. But what I'm the most of this amazing place and this incredible view let me zoom in like look at those gorgeous mountains just surreal
So, just got back from the spa and feeling so much better. As in my body was just really sore and tired. Um, it's always like the classic thing because we're only away for three nights on this trip. Four days, obviously it's a really lovely trip, I'm not saying that. But there's lots of moving around and this is our second night here. So I feel like when it's your second night somewhere, you like really relax into it and you're really like, ah, like, oh, I'm really here. And you've kind of, it always takes me a few days whenever I go anywhere to like realize I'm there, if that makes sense. Um, and I feel like that now. So I'm gonna just, haven't I meant to shoot. <laughs> We still haven't. Um, me and Rachel were saying we might just do it in the morning because we just wanted to come back and we were so like pooped. We were like, let's just go chill. And we might just take a few shots and stuff before dinner. But obviously, you know, I, some of them are kind of for fun, but obviously I'm on a trip where like I'm expected to do, there's not like a certain amount of those, but like I want to be, I'm in a beautiful place anyway, so I want to shoot as much of it as I can. Um, while I'm here and get some lovely photos. Um, so it's like that weird thing between like, oh, it's a really amazing thing and I'm away and I'm, I'm on this amazing trip, but also I need to take photos and like, you know, it's not that it's a hard way to take photos, but I've been skiing and then now I'm gonna, we're like all exhausted and we've got like a three hour drive on some windy mountain roads tomorrow to Geneva, which will be, interesting but luckily the flight back to london's only like an hour 20 so it's not too bad from there i'm just putting all the skincare on right now mm, that is much better but yeah i'm very happy that i got to be back on the slopes today it felt so so nice um so nice feeling like a bit more confident again um like I feel like that's probably a bit more like, ooh, can I remember this yesterday? And today I was like, yeah, I got this. Didn't fall once today, whoop. I only fell once yesterday, but this girl cut me up. Also, I think. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get ready for, well, I'm not, I'm gonna have a little bit of time, then I'm gonna get ready for dinner. Um, but I thought I would just do a little check-in. So, I put my makeup on for dinner. <clears throat> it's so foggy out. We literally can't see anything. Um, I'm very excited for our last night here. So this is the lobby. All the rooms are up there. Let's see if I can get it on wide. So I had the most incredible massage this morning um, in the spa obviously <laughs> um i slept really well which is amazing because i was so so tired i'm just packing up now because we're off very in and out trip but very wonderful feeling very happy that i managed to get back on the slopes and feel kind of um confident um just kind of packing everything up very happy with my rather kind of succinct packing just got a few more bits in this wonderful room um, then we're going to have a lunch and we've got like quite a long drive to Geneva um, so we've, we're driving from France to um, Switzerland um, so I'm going to go to the pharmacy now and try and find some like anti-nausea ones because even just from halfway up which was our first stop before we all got a bit like sick because it's just like such windy roads and it is very snowy today and there's really bad visibility as you can see um, or not see rather like you can't see the mountain there at all so um that will be fun on the roads, but it'll be fine. I just need to get um, some anti-nausea or anti-travel sickness pills. I don't know if those work, but placebo and all that. But it's been so amazing being here. Um, I feel very, very grateful to have come and be in the snow. Apparently it's snowing in England, so I'm ready. I'm ready with my outfits and this jacket. The coziest thing. Right, let me put this on actually. Where can I put to you? There we go. Um, it's this, yes, it's so cozy and so light, and this is my little, little plain outfit, I think. Mm. You can pack it into its own pocket as well. Very handy. Oh, nearly fell back. 
but yes thanks for watching the vlog i hope you enjoyed it um and i will be doing lots more home updates soon because whilst i've been away the bathroom has been being done so um i'm going to do that in a separate vlog i think because otherwise it's going to be all mishmash together so that'll be in the next one will be more of the bathroom update